people my people when you're neurodiverse um, there's a certain completist um, aspect you may have noticed that I go through entire distilleries um, yeah bit hard to miss that one so I did a number of reviews of Bassett Flinders I did their Maritime and their Orange Gins a couple of months back right before winter re hit and I've been having a calling I've been called back to Bass and Blenders. In fact, I went to the distillery itself last Sunday with my darling wife, Selena. I had a complete blast. Uh, I believe it was Erin and Riley who um, made it such an enjoyable time. And I recommend if you have a chance to go to a gin distillery in Melbourne, that you really knock yourself out. Um, I really have not been to one yet that's really disappointed me. Um, I went to Puss and Muse, I've been to Puss and Muse twice and just yeah, okay, this is just great fun. Um, Bass and Flinders last uh, Sunday was certainly great fun. Um, I've been to Boat Rocker, ditto. Um, so, what a good time out in my case. So, it's Sunday afternoon date, afternoon with the lovely wife. Um, hey, just get off to a uh, gin distillery. Oh, sorry, also Nort. There I, there I forget, Nort. Nort was very interesting and um, very much the. Um, dimly lit um, gin bar type stuff. Whereas Bass and Flinders is like the peninsula itself. It was open and airy and full of light and which kind of like sums up the gins. Um, so the completeness aspect I mentioned at the beginning of this bit and I, this one, soft and smooth. Yes, that's what it says, soft and smooth. Bit of market research. Done. So let's hear the sound of happiness, people. Oh, I could. I'm a bottle sniffer. What can I admit? It? I, I'm Odin and I, I sniff bottles for fun. Um, oh, it's just soft and smooth. Even on the nose, it's soft and smooth. So. And it goes down neat, soft and smooth. As if don't do this at home, children. Do this at home, adults. Now, I'm going to um, put my professors on. Try not to blind, blind you guys with the reflections. And see what the write-up says. Okay. Um, juniper, angelica, licorice and lime. And these guys do... No great surprise, a um, great base spirit. Um, it's the Mines Peninsula. I happen to have the, the luck and joy of living in a city that's almost bracketed by wine regions. If I head up that way, I bump into the Yarra Valley, and there's lots of um, grapes growing up there. In fact, it's where Four Pillars is, and Four Pillars, generally, see, yeah, it's great base spirit. Go down that way, down the peninsula. Bingo, I go west into the Geelong region and bingo around Mount Macedon area and here's Ango. Um, grapes everywhere. Uh, we're a great bunch. Better boom dish. So, yeah. So they use a, in fact, they say it quite readily on the bottle, it's single vineyard gin. So they're sourcing all their grapes from the one vineyard, which means there's one very happy vineyard down in the peninsula who basically gets his crop bought by these guys. So yeah, um, the licorice, the lime, the juniper, yeah, no trouble at all tasting these babies. Delicate burst of citrus flavour enhances the quality of the grape spirit. So, yeah, absolutely no mistaking what this baby is. So. It's the end of the week. Okay, I'm doing this on a Friday evening. Um, it's the end of the week. In fact, well, I've just survived yet another term with all my children at school. So it needs a big glass. Yeah, let's pour a nice, big, healthy measure of this baby. 
in. So, so far it's living up to its name. It's, it's licorice, which means that my darling wife might be having much of this. She hates licorice. In fact, I was known to drink bourbon at one point, so I wouldn't have something that I could share with the wife. Because we all know what wives and husbands like. Oh, darling, can I share it? Yes. The quickest way around to get it is to um, drink something they don't want to drink. In fact, back in the day, a long time ago, I studied horticulture, and one of my lecturers announced that her husband really liked Lapsang Souchong tea, which, I'll be honest, to me, <laughs> it's never one of my favourite teas. To me, it always tasted rather strongly of um, smoked oysters, and I think. Anyway, uh, the husband also taught there, and I went to him and said, um, Dude, Lapsang Souchong tea. And he went, um, actually, no, I'm not a big fan of it. And I said, okay, okay um, the other, other half you just taught me would beg to differ. Um, if you're not a big fan of it, why are you drinking it? And he looks at me and goes, well, dude, you're married. Um, it's the one thing the wife will not want to share with me because she thinks it's vile. And um, I wish is a bit the same way with my darling wife. I want to have a um, suite that's purely mine, that I don't have to go any other segments of. I get licorice bullets and the wife, or durian. Durian, um, well, that wonderfully smelly Southeast Asian fruit, um, which named actually durian means thorny. Likewise, doesn't have to share. And this gin's going to be the same way. With the licorice in it, Selena's going to go, thank you very much, Odin, that's, that's your gin. Have fun. I'll go, well, thank you very much. I, I intend to. It's the reason why I do, do gin reviews. So. Enough of this. I'm going to add Fever Tree Mediterranean, and because it's a big glass, it's going to be one of the bit um, samples. And let's see what this does. If you've been paying attention, and please do, there will be questions asked at the end of this, uh, you will realize, or you will know, that the Fever Tree tonics generally tend to bring a fair bit of the citrus out in people, in drinks. So, it's going to bounce the ice cube around a little bit, ice cubes. Um, yeah, and when cry about spilt milk in my house, spilt gin, <laughs> it just tears me up at the thought of it. So let's see what this baby goes like. Oh, honey, hit me with a sledgehammer and call me deaf. Um, it lines it up and bang. If ever there was a gin that is perfectly named, it would be this one. Um, well, the other possible name for a gin this good would be um, Get Your Legless. Um, it's soft, it's smooth. Um, it is delicious. I can taste the juniper. Um, the fever tree's done what fever tree does and brought the, um, the citrus out. And it's just nailed it. <clears throat> uh, I'm reasonably certain that Back when I did the other two gins, I wasn't giving fat boy ratings. Um, if I had it, they would have picked up easily 10 out of 10, easily, no trouble whatsoever. And this is the same way. Um, sorry, excuse me. Yes, excuse me again. Thank God this does make me fart. Um, just juniper, citrus, licorice is pushed well back in, into the background, um, which I shan't get telling the wife. You go, oh, don't worry about watching this review, darling. It's, it was a bad review. I, I'm, I'm rather embarrassed about doing it. No, no, they, the gin, yeah, it, it's very strongly licorice. That's what I'll be telling her. Um, where the exact opposite. The licorice is well and truly pushed into the background and the citrus is brought forward, which something the wife actually really likes. She really likes gins that have become citrus and this baby does it. So as you expect from people who have been around for about 15 years now, 
best and friend is a blind this sucker up and just bang, that's it. I've nailed it. Hit it hard, hit it with a hit it with a hammer, and she's just done. Um yeah. it's in time with the Orient and the Maritime Gin, it's very much the bay full of sails, hot summer's day, the wind blowing in, it's really bright type imagery that it gives to me. Now, what would I eat with it? If I was to have something, I'd make it fish. Okay? All right. I'm not scratching my head so I can um, think a bit faster. Perhaps I should should scratch my head a bit but see if I can get the old grey matter swimming up. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd go seafood. Um, if I wasn't vegetarian, I'd more likely um, knock this back with some um, fresh oysters. Perhaps I could rethink my vegetarianism. Um, perhaps I could become a pescivore. Because the idea of a nice cold large one of these and some fresh oysters or some, um yeah, it does really appeal a lot. Other than that, it's the end of the day drink. Um so large glass ice Oh yeah. Ice cold, end of the day. Um, if this does not improve your mood, then you really are screwed. Um, yeah, I would just pattern the drinking, you know, the, drink it with seafood, uh, eat, you know, uh, that type of thing. I would simply um, pour a large one as I have, and sit back and contemplate the number of people that you would like to have stabbed in the face and didn't. And so that you actually were a nice person today. And it just let it go. Just breathe out and take a good solid swig of this baby. That's the sort of um, thing I do. Yep, I mean, I'm a nice man. I never think about stabbing people in the face. Um, hitting them with hammers, on the other hand, um, that does cross my mind. Um, that you'd make a really good corpse. Uh, so, so I'd never think about it um, much. So yeah, so that's basically this um, soft and smooth from Best and Flinders. This is the one available at the distillery and I'm reasonably certain it's available at Dan Murphy's or um, as my children call, as my children are known him as, is Uncle Dan's. So when dad goes and visits Uncle Dan's, dad comes back happy. His uncle, dad likes his uncle Dan, likes his new brother Dan. <laughs> actually, true story. One of my brother's middle name was da actually Daniel, um, so they did have an uncle Dan. His first name hadn't been Mark. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe, follow, leave comments, suggestions. No rude remarks, please. And um, I'll be tagging. I actually know. I'll mention I went tag. I was going to take another another gin. Um, my special guest presenter Blake has actually sent me the result of um, me bribing him with a bottle of um, fennel based um, gin, which I can't touch. It's as simple as that. I can't drink it. But I want to review it, so I'm going to get my special presenter, the rock star in the making, Blake Morton. Go and watch him um, review organic bays. Uh, Sorry, Anise and um, whatever. Gin um, should be out about the same time as um, this baby. Blake doesn't do shorts apparently, and I really should get him, tap him to do shorts. In fact, I damn well will. Because if, look, you, I gave you a bottle of gin, so just I want 15 seconds and I want a minute and I want it now. So, yeah, go and watch them. Um, as for next week after that, my ex-wife always said I was clueless. Um, I have no idea what I'll do. I'll see if I can cross a border. Though I enjoy, I keep on getting good um, feeds about something out of a chuka, which is a place I have the story I have to visit again. Either way, thanks for watching. Subscribe, follow, share, no rude comments, and I'll catch you next week with another channel. Oh, and before I go, 
I met the gin queen dot au today and a big shout out to someone who I intend to basically go through her websites and just learn as much as I can but it was a true pleasure actually having someone go I recognize your face I'm going hmm gee have I offended you recently have I offended you a while ago did I do a particularly good job of offending you and she went no I said okay do you do it or I can't mean she said no not likely I said do you do gin she goes ha ha your gin and tonic for you and I went oh, you seen me and she went yes and I went oh, okay so I'm emotionally famous so big Shout out to um, the Gin Queen dot AU, and I'll catch you guys next week with another delicious example of Australian gin. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share. Catch your peeps.